good day to you. So, the messenger conveyed my summons. A miracle that would make the reincarnation of Aethys look like a child's cantrip, surely. It doesn't draw the most inspired minds, messaging. They failed me so many times of late, I nearly sent a cipher after you instead. So this is the Watcher who took over Cad Noir. Oh, don't look so surprised. It isn't an attractive expression. I wouldn't be where I am for long if I let details like that escape me. I also know, for that matter, about your little excursion into an Enguithin ruin near Deerford that dear woodens are absolutely forbidden to enter. What I am curious about is why. Strange does not begin to describe them. The practices of the Leaden Key defy all reason. You're not the only one with an interest in their recent activities. I've lost four ciphers this year alone trying to get someone inside their ranks. As it is, we only have our suspicions about who is in the group and what they intend. Which I suppose means we have much in common with them. I asked you here because I wanted to know what your interest was in all of this. I thought perhaps we might help each other. Why are you looking for the leaden key? The gods are cruel, I'm afraid. The man you seek is Theos Ix Arcanon, Grand Master of the Leaden Key. One of the most elusive and dangerous men Aeora has ever known. Because you have seen his face, and that makes it a simple matter for me to see it. You even happened to catch him in a ceremonial garb, it seems must have been a special occasion. More than most, though very few would know so much as his name. And there is no way of knowing how much of what I've read is true. The Leaden Key dates back more than 2,000 years. If rumors are to be believed, Theos was the one who created it. What scraps of evidence exist, 
suggests that he has died many times, only to be reborn each time exactly the same man. Awakened during adolescence with all the knowledge and experience of all his lifetimes, the plots he orchestrates sometimes take hundreds of years to bear fruit. Needless to say, this is not the natural order of things, but he is said to be one of Woodica's favored, and that old bat was never one to let rules get in the way of favoritism. That may also explain another supposed gift of his. His body is no boundary to his soul, and he is known to take possession of others, if their souls are weak enough. Often it is for elaborate deceptions, but sometimes he simply forces them to kill themselves. He is not known for his generous supply of pity. He is also not one to show himself in any but their most critical matters. If he has directly involved himself in whatever the group plots now, it may be your only chance to find him. And once you do find him, if you can find him, I would not hold my hopes too high if I were you. He is a driven, single-minded man. He will not have the slightest concern for your problems. Keep me informed. The leaden key has been busy lately, and that is distressing news. I can only guess as to what they intend. You seem to have a knack for turning the stones they've crawled beneath. Keep turning them. Dunreed Row will not stop you. Whatever it is they're up to, figuring it out will be of great use to both of us. In your case, it will surely point you to Theos. In return, I will share our knowledge with you as we learn it, and provide you with what assistance I can. If you find your trail has run cold, come to me with whatever you have. There is much I may be able to do for you. Well, let's hear it. Forgive me, it is unlike Theos to leave witnesses. He must be furious. He did not aid you as you'd hoped, I take it? Well, take heart. With any luck when he has finished his business, he will surely come and find you again, if only to kill you while you sleep. This... News of yours makes sense, of course. To dabble in animancy is to puzzle over the secrets of the gods. This would not be the Leaden Key's first action against it. But if this is connected to their other activities, we may be in for something on a much larger scale. If we can learn more about their goals and methods... Perhaps we can get the palace behind us. With Avar's support, we may be able to put a stop to this. This is troubling. That civilization seems to have known more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leaden Key was born in that period. It may be that Theos has full knowledge of their technology. The applications of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Avar Wolfgrin is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. I had feared they might be involved in Widewind's legacy. It seemed... Too extreme, even for them. How naive I've been. The Leaden Key's conspiracy is clear now. They have used Anguithin technology to engineer Wildman's legacy, and they want people to blame Anamancy for it. 
As we speak, the Duke is holding hearings in the palace. He is listening to arguments for and against Animancy. When they finish, he is expected to decide whether to outlaw it. It seems the Leaden Key has been pushing Deerwood down this path for some time. I, for one, would enjoy seeing their little scheme fouled up at the last moment. Our Duke must hear what you have to say. Unfortunately, the hearings are closed to the public, which makes the Duke inaccessible until they are completed. However, certain groups have been invited to attend. You might get in with one of them if you aren't above a little pandering. What of them?
Good day to you. How's the hand? Turning purple. I'd have to cut it off. I warned you not to pet him. If I'm not supposed to pet him, why is he so soft?
That's what Cleaver's been looking for anyway. If you found it, I guess I've got to start. Time to see if that Valian was worth all that blood and copper. I'll be damned. Be honest, even I wasn't expecting it to work this well. Back to it. Cleaver will want me to finish the rest of them. And it sounded like he has a job for you, too. <laughs> 